This time on a bonus episode of IFAF. Idaho Falls and Favorite Things. IFAF, Idaho Falls Infotainment Talk Show with Mike Nelson and Carly Morgan. Here we are as Idaho Falls is putting up concrete boundaries on hit. Just in time for the holiday shopping season. (sighs) Now, I assume, I'm no civil engineer, but I assume it's going to make us little ants fall in line Mm -hmm. a little better when it comes to traffic, but I am kind of miffed that I can't make a turn when I want to anymore. Right, right. That's always so frustrating. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing. I get why they're doing it. I get why they don't want us to turn wherever we want. And you couldn't wait till after the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, yeah. because there's going to be so much traffic on that road. That's just poor planning. Maybe they'll get it done in record time before the snow flies, mm. but I doubt it. <laughs> if they're smart, they will. <laughs> so this is a special bonus episode where, so one thing you need to know about Carly is she will shop local whenever possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I so, kind of bullied Mike into this episode, as a matter of fact. Not real. I, the thing <laughs> is, no, I, not, not at all. It's just that I don't shop. You don't. So I can't really relate. (laughs) I mean, I shop for groceries. I know I have family members who actively want to shop local and don't know where to go. And that's a big reason why I wanted to do this, especially because I know a lot of people are trying to, you know, not shop abroad anymore. They want to keep things uh, made in the USA, stuff like that. And I think that especially right now with how expensive things are and how hard it is to you know, just keep businesses going, businesses that we love. It's really important that we support our friends and neighbors. Absolutely. So what I do is I like to support my bros, right? my friends. Mm-hmm. I'll go get tamales from my favorite tamale lady. Mm-hmm. I'll get uh, foot zoning here in town. I'll get, if I need some specialty baked good, first I'll ask around to my friends. Uh, and, and so I'll, I'll go, since I don't do much shopping, I'll just show off a couple of things I've gotten from buddies in the last year that I just love. I love that idea. Okay, the first one I'm actually wearing, and let me let me stand up for this and one and show so it to you. It's so cute. It's Ida gnome. <laughs> it's a bunch of gnomes in the shape of the state of Idaho. Mm-hmm. It, it's and then it says Ida gnome on it, mm-hmm. and it's very Christmassy, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. This comes from Rich Summers. So you may, a lot of you may remember Rich Summers. He was Snake Rivers on the radio in the late 80s and I think all the way through the mid 90s. Mm -hmm. He is a retired radio dude now and just, I I watched him get started with artwork. I think he learned like from Bob Ross. Oh, wow. Okay. Back in the day when they were on PBS. I love that. Well, and they're so hard to keep up with if you're doing them like in real time. So I'm extra impressed. And he got good and he got fast. And wow. so he does all the, in fact, I think this is like one of a thousand designs that he has. Wow. We'll put this link along with all the other links that we can find anyway in our post if you're interested. It's a cute little whimsical shirt. Mm-hmm. It's Idaho. It's Christmas gnomes or elves. It, <laughs> it's got a pun on it. What's not to love? Right. Okay. Next bro I totally support. Mr. 208. What's up? Joshua Worrell. Mm-hmm. We featured his vid- video Idaho in a uh, past show and will feature another one of his videos coming up in a future show. He's just so talented. He does mm-hmm. great work. And so when I see one of my bros with some merch available. Right. Well, and he loves Idaho just like we do. I pick it up. Yeah. And one more thing I'll throw out and the rest of the show is yours, Carl. Okay. Is I was so excited to discover. We talked about Winco for our Thanksgiving episode. Uh-huh. They got the IFAF award. I was so excited to discover these. These are Pepperidge Farms Mint Brussels. Now, this is a cookie. To me, it is the best cookie in the world. No exaggeration. No notes, no cap. (laughs) Pepperidge Farm Mint Brussels are the best cookie in the world. Well, I love that you love those Brussels, but you hate Brussels sprouts. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm not even a fan of the regular Pepperidge Farm Brussels. Everybody loves the Milano, the the soft feather light cookie. These are the antithesis of that. They're crispy, mm-hmm. they're crunchy, and at Christmas time, they're so minty. I haven't had one of these in like five years. I thought they discontinued them. Well, maybe they did, but they've broken them out for the holidays, and Winco is hiding them from you. Oh, at yeah? least, yeah, at least on Woodruff and Idaho Falls. <laughs> I had to, a- as you get to the end of the aisle you come in on, before you get to the produce, you have to look over your right shoulder. 
Oh, funny. Oh, I, don't I know, know the spot. what caught my eye, but it was divine providence. Mm-hmm. And I love you, Winco. And I love you, Beverly Farm and Beverly. <laughs> and this is why I've gained five pounds in the last week. Because right around midnight, they call to you. <laughs> support local, t shirts, merch from bros, support their art. Well, and I mean, speaking of t shirts and supporting your bros, if you want to, you know, Throw a little money this guy's way. Head oh. over to TetonT-shirts.com. I, I always forget. Yeah, I forget to plug <laughs> that. Check out some of these t-shirts from Teton T-shirts. It, this actually used to be our old intro for the show. Mm-hmm. TetonT-shirts.com. I had a few people ask, Mike, where'd you get that Saving Center shirt? That's such a cool shirt. I love that one. From the Thanksgiving episode. Mm-hmm. TetonT-shirts.com. Like if you had relatives that visited this summer that wanted to get a t-shirt that didn't. Right, because it's so hard to find a place in town that does it. There's only like one place. Yeah. Yeah. And these are cool shirts. Right. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember I was trying to find you an Idaho shirt before you started Teton T-shirts, and it was kind of a super pain in the butt. It's tough. Well, Thank you, Carly, for that. Yeah, you got it. Absolutely. Got to support my bros. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Well, and speaking of some bros, I actually really love these guys, the owners of Branch and Vine and the guys who work there, too. And these guys choose the most amazing olive oils and balsamics, and they stock them. Uh, they actually have a kiosk in the mall right now which i love by the way now we, so brilliant we met these guys at the idaho falls farmers market yes last year yeah they told us we were their favorite couple so <laughs> if they said that to you too then they're dirty dirty liars <laughs> just kidding they're they have, sweet they have sprouts right or rather micro greens let's call them yeah <laughs> right like the trendy people are calling them yeah and they're just the salt of the earth the nicest guys you could meet they're such sweethearts i love their um, olive oils and balsamics. I personally tend to use their butter olive oil. It's just so handy because I never like I haven't had a chance to cook in like a year because of my old job. I was getting off work so late. I had no time in the evening, so instead I would just you know like buy something from a fast food place yeah. and it was awful. <laughs> but you know, on the rare occasion that I did have to cook, I never kept any ingredients. So I didn't have butter or milk or I'd have cheese, but you know, very <laughs> limited cheese. Yeah. All right. Which and just isn't like you. <laughs> no, it's not. In a perfect world, I have at least five cheeses in my fridge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I like their butter olive oil because that way I have the butter flavor and like the, you know, way to grease the pan without actually having to keep butter on hand and worrying about it spoiling okay well and i love how you can really get creative especially say with uh salads light summer salads right you can take a lemon olive oil mix it with a Mm -hmm. raspberry balsamic and get this mind-blowing flavor well and they've also just added jams and honeys to their repertoire too (laughs) and they have like flavored honeys oh my gosh so these guys have all the stuff for anyone who you know that loves to cook So someone like me, (laughs) anyone you know that loves to eat. So someone like me Uh, and for any like, and now you have time in the evenings. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to be out of retail just in time for Christmas. (laughs) But yeah. you you actually are helping your old store in the mall. You might see Carly on Black Friday. If I'm you gonna go. yeah, I'm gonna help out on Black Friday because I I just would feel terrible leaving them all alone. Yeah. <laughs> that would be mean. But anyway, um, great for gift baskets. Great for any chefs in your life, and just very fancy looking. So if you want to impress someone, they're great little something something. And and again, local. Yeah. Branch and Vine with a kiosk in the Grand Teton Mall now Uh for the holidays. Yeah, which I love so much. That's such a smart idea. And I wish more places were doing that. Yeah. Yeah, it'd make it so much more convenient. Mm -hmm. At least most of the other places are located in historic downtown, like our next one, Poppy and Pow. One of my favorite stores, period. But I especially love it during the holidays because I like to go and buy the big multi-pack of their uh, handmade here in town made uh, lip balms. So I'll do that to get the deal, but then I'll take them out and just give them individually to people. Okay. So they're great for friends, coworkers, aunties, grannies. And weren't they featured on Oprah's Favorite Things a couple years ago? As a matter of fact, they were. So they exploded, they popped. Mm-hmm. And when you walk into the store, you know, to the, um, the, the lip glosses, lip balms are kind of straight ahead. Mm-hmm. To the left is sort of a retail section to the right they've got this huge bay window you can look out into where they make the lip balm which i think is so cool it reminds me a lot of beaker's cheese Uh in oregon 
It's Washington. I'm a goose. Wherever they're uh, we, yeah. wherever they are. <laughs> yeah. But I love that you can watch the process. I feel like I'm watching an episode of How It's Made. Right. Local lip balm edition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plus, they smell good. They work amazing. They're the only lip balm I use anymore. And whatever you don't give away, you can just keep for yourself and use throughout the year. I only use lip balm a couple times a year. Mm -hmm. This is about the time of year where I will go, uh, what's going on here? Uh -huh. And you need to... Um, I need to gloss up mm -hmm. and whenever I've, you've always had a different flavor. Yeah. Anything I've ever had. It's, um, it's just rich. It's luxurious. It tastes mm -hmm. good. It smells good. And I really love that they're actually currently doing, or at least last time I went, they were doing these lip sugar, uh, or lip scrub sets with the matching lip balm in it, which I thought was so smart. What's lip scrub? So it's basically like a sugar lip scrub. So it's a kind of a thicker balm with sugar crystals in it. So you can like scrub the dead skin off your lips with it. Oh. And then you can also put the balm on afterward to moisturize. Do you lick the lip scrub? Lip, lips? <laughs> lip scrub. Do you lick the lip? <laughs> this is a Ron Burgundy style tongue twister. <laughs> right? Do you lick the lip scrub off and then like swallow it? You can if you want like to. Uh -huh. That's the beautiful thing about a sugar lip scrub. It's totally edible. Realistically, you're supposed to just wipe it off. I've totally licked it off a time or two. <laughs> it happens. It's tasty. They do a good job. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Flavored dead skin cells. <laughs> yeah. Yummy. <laughs> but yeah, no, most people will just wipe it off. Okay. All right. But yeah, you get a little in your mouth and it's a nice little treat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, in that same vein, I also really like Bumble and Bleat. Now, these guys make their own in-house uh, goat's milk and beeswax based bath products. And they are just down a couple of doors yeah. from Poppy and Pout. Uh huh. So one of my favorite things to do is get a couple of things from these guys, get some lip balms from Poppy and Pout, and then do little like self-care packs. And I'll give those to folks that I care about. Um, the thing that's really cool about these guys is that they do have men's and women's products. They've got some really great like beard conditioners and stuff like that that are awesome for men. I personally love... They're goat they're goat's milk baths. They're it's like this um powdered goat's milk that's got all kinds of good uh scents and uh minerals and stuff that are all really great for your skin that you dump directly in your bath and it makes the water all milky. Oh, it's so first off, it's pretty, it smells good, and it leaves your skin feeling so soft. I remember when we went, uh I've I got a couple of bars, and mm -hmm. I think the one I got was like um charcoal and whiskey or something yeah. like that. It's just so manly. And, th and then when we used it, it was like, it, that was, it was really nice. And then there mm -hmm. was like sort of a minty kind of rejuvenating, exhilarating one that mm -hmm. I really liked. Yeah. 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 They have some really great ones. And again, they're natural, locally made products that are being sold here in town by people who actually live here. I always see the ads for Dr. Squatch. Yes. On, on Facebook, but and mm -hmm. this their store reminds me, oh, like, I could just go downtown and get this. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then you don't have to pay any of the mail fees. You don't have to wait around for it. You can just go you get can it. You can smell them in advance. Yeah, yeah, which I love. Let's see here. Also in historic downtown, for the pooches. Uh, so if you have any pets, the only place I get my pet food from is Splash. Mm, mm -hmm. With very rare occasions and only in emergencies. <laughs> but I love going to Splash. They have this amazing... Uh, display case. Display case mm -hmm. that you can see these dog biscuits in. And yeah, they're like freshly made. Uh -huh. And they're gorgeous. They're so It'd be a shame cute. to feed them to a dog. <laughs> right. They totally look, Instagrammable. But. They look really appetizing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and they've got like special birthday cookies. My personal favorite is their dog ice cream. Yeah. Well, and I'd say one of Rango's personal favorites too. Yes. That and their cow ears. He goes nutso butso for those. He loves those. But yeah, they've got all kinds of great little treats that are good stocking stuffers for your pets as well as pet accessories too. That's um, where you got his... Uh, name Idaho tag. Falls Water Tower name tag. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the coolest thing, too, is that that was made by a local artist who sells it there locally. So how cool is that? That's super local. Local on local on local, baby. That splash <laughs> there on Cliff Street, across the street from Karsten's Bakery, mm -hmm. and down a block toward the water tower. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sorry, let me go on to my next page. <laughs> Man, you got a lot of shopping. I do. I have a lot of people I care about. Yeah. I've got a heart full of love. Yes, you do. <laughs>
Well, and like Johnny Mathis says, Christmas is a feeling in your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you do need a little extra cr Christmas cheer, the next place will have what you need. Okay. And that is Heads and Tails. They make their own in-house hot chip vodka using ultra-purified Idaho water. Okay. So you can drink a little piece of Idaho. We actually um, saw it on the menu at a couple of other places when we right. were we were at the Bee's Knees. We were, which yeah. is a that that'd be a fun gift certificate to get or give. Mm -hmm. uh, Bee's Knees is located in a sorry I don't know the name of the hotel. Fairbridge. But okay, uh, it's right by QP ninety nine there <laughs> off Lindsay Boulevard. <laughs> 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 Kidding, guys. <laughs> Man, and their desserts over at Bee's Knees are so. Flipping good. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to see a distillery with a storefront, a bar front, I guess. Right, yeah, right. Right in the heart of downtown. That's right. They're right next door to the Celt. I believe it's the same owners. I think it is the same owners. I do know it is definitely right next to the Celt. Yeah. That's my knowledge. <laughs> I know the things I like and I know about the products and I don't know anything about the history. Yeah. <laughs> right across the street from there is Destinations, which is another one I wanted to mention. This is great for your significant other, especially if you, if you have someone in your life like Mike who doesn't want things. They just want experiences. Yeah. This is a great way to travel the world on a budget. Yeah. If you ever feel like, oh, man, I, I wish I could get away, but I don't have a ton of money and I don't have a ton of time. Mm -hmm. If you just want a one night getaway. Yeah. Destinations is so cool. Well, and some of their rooms have saunas. They have jetted tubs. They've got dual head showers. Like, it's just nothing but fun. You know, there's plenty in the room to do, even if you were alone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I mean, I, you know, my perfect night might be just staying in <laughs> um, staying in a theme suite with my shirt off and mm -hmm. a pizza box resting on my belly as I flip <laughs> through the channels. Right. Honestly, that I, sounds awesome. <laughs> I cut the cord years ago. Sometimes I like l the live cable choices. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Last time I stayed there, it was in the Rome suite and it was beautiful. Um, I've also stayed in the Egyptian suite, which is super fun uh they actually have a sauna in that one and that's that's pretty nice like you can't go wrong there some of them have steam showers mm -hmm. and yeah you can bring a little essential oil and make the entire room smell like mint whatever your little heart desires mm -hmm. and in that same vein if you are looking to just sort of decompress or if you have someone in your, in your life that's really stressed out and needs a little vacay but won't take it unless you force it upon them exhale day spa now, we actually went there for Mike's birthday, and we did one of the couple's packages, which are a great value. Which, technically, I got Carly for her birthday, but she didn't have time to use. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> until your birthday. Because I was like, okay, I'm going to take time off for Mike's birthday so we can hang out. And then I was like, well, there's that other thing I wanted to do, so I guess we'll just throw that in there for me. <laughs> you, you can't really out-give Carly. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Sorry. exhale was wow, what a right. What a little blissful afternoon that was. It's so much for the value of it. You know, it's only a couple hundred bucks and you can be there basically all day getting pampered from head to toe. And even if you don't want to do a whole package, doing like a manicure or a pedicure from there is a great thing to do for your mom, your auntie, your grandma, your best friend, you know, your guy friend. First off, men need to take better care of their toes and fingernails. Like, yeah. Do you know what? And they deserve it. So, you know, even if you don't think they'd like it, maybe if they'd try it, they would. If you want to pamper someone you love and get them the hell out of your house for a few hours, <laughs> exhale day spa and salon. <laughs> That's a great idea. There you go. <laughs> and they come back in a great mood. Right. I think it's. I think it'd be impossible to be in a bad mood after that. I was loosey goosey AF after. <laughs> I just was so go with the flow. I didn't care about anything. Yeah. I'd had every knot rubbed out of my body, and I was like, "I'm cool. Let's do anything." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes people very pliable, I guess. Uh -huh. Very agreeable. <laughs> yeah. You might want to have dinner waiting for them when they get home because no one's going to want to cook after that. Oh, no. Also, a staple of historic downtown that's been there for forever that I want to mention, Ingram's. First off, every single time I've gone in there, I've received nothing but excellent service. It's Stan. Mm -hmm. It is Stan Ingram. He's the, it's Stan the man. 
Yeah. He's just a really great guy who's really into what he does mm-hmm. and has been for uh, decades. Right. And, you know, there have been times when I've taken in a piece of broken jewelry or something and they've said, honestly, there's really nothing we can do. But even when they've done that, they've done it kindly. They've explained it. You know, they didn't act like I was an idiot because I didn't realize that you can't fix an earring because it has this hinge instead of that hinge. Ah. So... I really love Ingram's. I think they're a great store. And especially if you want to, you know, butter someone up or maybe do a nice Christmas proposal, that's the place to go because they're actually going to take care of you. They're going to give you the service that you deserve. Plus, they're here in town. So if they ever if anything ever breaks or needs fixed or needs a little polish, they're right there. And I believe they are right next door to Bumble and Bleat and one door Mm -hmm. down from Poppy and Pout. Yes. And there's so many in that. In fact, I posted on Facebook once. This is before we started this show. Uh I I, I went around the block and I took inventory of all the places with an ampersand in their names. (laughs) There's uh, Poppy and Pout, Bumble and Bleat, Evie and and Ivy, Heads and Tails. Uh I think it's Treasures, Bridal and Tux. Uh I think it's Great (laughs) Harvest, Cafe and Bakery. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many. And I know I'm missing a couple. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's a few. It's the ampersand block in downtown <laughs> Idaho Falls. Next is going to be one of our favorites that we have mentioned on the show before, a little enterprising guy named Kent and his company, Cooking with Kent. Holy Macron's Batman. First of all, Macron's are my favorite dessert. Mm-hmm. And if you ever want to make me happy, get me Macron's. And there's nothing like fresh ones. No. Costco has those frozen ones that are pretty good. And they yeah. they came out with holiday flavors mm-hmm. at the right time of year. They will certainly scratch the itch. But if I like want a good, high-quality Macron, I got to go to Kent. What you have to do, so I, I believe it's his mom, Jordan, that runs his Facebook page. Look up Cooking with Kent, and it's a, it's a hand-drawn logo by Kent. It's super so it's cute. Pretty recognizable. But yeah, just follow them on Facebook and... And she'll say, or he'll say, and, and he, like, he made gnocchi the other day. Yeah. Like, I of mean, of course he did. Yeah. He's just <laughs> like really into it. When I love that. I love that he does the fancy food too. And check Yeah. Check out our <laughs> Halloween episode for some really whimsical Macron. Oh, I love those ones. I bet he's going to have some cute Christmas ones. So when he comes out with them, you better get us some. We're telling you this now, <laughs> follow him on Facebook now. So you can put in your orders and it's a really mm-hmm. great value. It's like. Six for ten or something like that. Which for a Macron, like they're they're yeah. very labor intensive. The ingredients are incredibly expensive. So you're getting a great value and you don't have to spend the years and years le- learning how to do it. He's already done that for you. Plus, what a great thing to take in for a holiday party or a gift for your boss. You know, especially if you're like really jockeying for a promotion. That's how you do it. Well, and I think all of these things, I'm so glad we're doing this, Carl, because mm-hmm. I think all of these things have one thing in common, and that is they've got built-in thoughtfulness to it. Right. Right? You can say, I got you this. I know how much you love to support Idaho Falls Mm -hmm. and the economy here in town. Right. And so that's why I went here and got you this. Right. It's got, you know, I know how much you love Macron's, but these are local and fresh. Right. Or even if you said, I know how much you hate getting some cheap crap from China and having it break after five minutes. Yeah. So I got you something local. What's And what's the, okay, there was Timu and we found out that that's a worse (laughs) app than TikTok. And then what's the, Shismu, Shine? Sheen? Sheen? Yeah, okay, Sheen. Yeah, I've, uh-huh. I've never pronounced and it wish. before. I've just seen it. Yeah. yeah. Well, there, wish, there was Wish. Mm-hmm. Then there was Timu just in the last year, right? And uh-huh. now there's Shine, Sheen. Uh, I think Sheen was actually before Sheen. Timu, but Sheen oh. is more clothing. Oh, okay. Whereas Timu is more like Wish where it does a little bit of everything. Definitely. Everything we've talked about so far, I would pit that against crap from China any day. Mm -hmm. These would all win over that. Well, and especially if you're looking for good quality, I've got to recommend Weeby Toys. Now, I don't buy for kids very often. For my niece and nephew, I usually do cash because I think it's a little more valuable and they have a lot of stuff. But when I do have to buy for kids, I prefer Weeby Toys. They've got a great selection of stuffed animals. All of their stuff is really high quality. And they've got some unique stuff that you won't find anywhere else. And and it's really cool to be in a brick and mortar toy store. (laughs) Right. Well, especially after Toys R Us closed closed down. Now the best you can get are like toy aisles in big box stores. And it's nice to be in a store specifically dedicated to toys. Yes. It's so whimsical. And they've got the best window displays. And then uh, kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum because we just talked about kids. Now we're going to talk about dad. (laughs) So 
If you need something good for dad, I'd like to recommend Farrell's Clothing. Uh, obviously, they do lots of suits, ties, stuff like that. I bought a couple of ties from there for different men in my life and not necessarily romantic partners that made it sound like I was just, <laughs> you know, giving ties away to any old fella who look at me. But, it be, you know, like I got one for my ex-husband there. I've got some for my dad and my brother there. They've just got all kinds of great um, options. I know that they are the uh, Johnston and Murphy shoe distributor and missionaries will swear by either Echo or Johnston and Murphy for comfort. Mm -hmm. I was an Echo guy, and I didn't think anything would ever be more comfortable than that. Right. And now I'm a Johnston and Murphy guy because they are so comfy and waterproof, which right. in real estate is a really good quality for a shoe to have. Absolutely. Walking through, you know, half the year walking through snow and sleet, and then the other half of the year walking through wet grass. The nice thing, too, is that they've got something on any budget. So if you're just going in and you just need something for like, you know, 15, 20 bucks... They've got ties. If you want to spoil someone, they've got all kinds of great shoes and suit options. Look, if you've got a guy in your life and all he wants are things that can be purchased for $1,000 or more. Right. <laughs> you know, the, I mean, Johnson & Murphy's can be $200, $300 shoes, mm -hmm. but the shoe polish is like 10 bucks. Uh, next, let's talk about Love at First Bite. Oh, yeah. Now, kind of like the guy who already has everything, this is a good shop for the person who... You have no idea what to get for them because Love at First Bite has a little something for everybody and anybody. Right up front, usually they have the seasonal decorations. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to the left, they've got a huge, speaking of um, olive oil and balsamic vinegar, they have mm -hmm. a huge section for that and places to taste. They have Swiss chocolate. Then if, if you go in to the right and sort of back, they've got all sorts of, you know, Cadbury candy from mm -hmm. the UK and just fun. Uh, Ritter Sport, mm -hmm. my favorite chocolate. They have the best selection in town for that. Mm -hmm. They've got Idaho t-shirts and stuff like that. And then and then they've got a fresh chocolate and cupcake section uh -huh. and candy section where you could, yeah. Also good for a Christmas party. That's one of those stores you could spend an hour in. And only see like half of it. <laughs> yeah, just looking around. Yeah. Yeah, they've got great stuff. And they always have. I mean, they've been there for over a decade now. Have they? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I remember going to them with they were, you know, well, yeah, I think friends they were from high school. <laughs> one of the first stores in Snake River Landing. And they've always had such random cool stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, one of my favorite places in town, certainly our favorite brunch spot, Cast Iron. Yes. The thing is- They're coming up a lot <laughs> lately. Right. And the thing is, at the end of the day, if you don't know what to get the person, everybody's got to eat. And if they're going to eat, they might as well eat really, really good freaking food. <laughs> I know when buying gift cards, I involuntarily think, okay, how much do I like this person? Right. Do I like them, you know, a $10 pick-me-up gift card mm -hmm. amount? Or do I like them a $100 cast iron gift mm -hmm. card amount? Right. But cast iron, I think, would be really good for that person on the higher end of your gift card list. Right. Well, and just think that gift card could be a date night. It could be a relief from having to make dinner yeah. and not just that, but a really good dinner to replace it with. It could be a pick me up after a really crappy day. It could be a night celebrating a new job. You know, it's so limitless. Right. And honestly, it's just a great place to go. The atmosphere is fantastic now, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Back when it was the cellar, they had their sort of, it was really great 12 years ago. Then they got a new owner and it sort of fell apart. And mm -hmm. and and now it's sort of that, that restaurant in that location is back in spades. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic. They're 100. Yeah. You know, and I think that some people might think that they're hoity-toity, but I don't think so. I think that they just care about quality. I get that they make their stuff with exacting specifications and standards. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and I mean, I used to work there for a hot minute. I used to moonlight uh, as a waitress. And I mean, they were trying out desserts in the back all the time, which were my favorite days because they'd <laughs> share with us. Yeah, You know, they were always trying out new dishes and switching things up and keeping things fresh, you know. And I, I saw them work endlessly to make sure the food was good and good quality. If you're watching or listening to this, we will provide names, addresses, phone numbers, website links, whatever we can find on all of mm -hmm. the businesses we just mentioned. 
And uh, so go ahead and click the description wherever you are, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, X. Oh, and that's the other thing. One other thing you can do to support local this holiday season, share our podcast. Yeah. If you're feeling super generous on Facebook, search for IFAF or click our logo. Go to the three dots on our page and click invite friends. You can also um, like or subscribe or comment any little, you know, algorithm boost we get, especially at this point when we're so new, would help a lot. We'd really appreciate it. Yeah, big time. So this has been our first annual IFAF Local Gift Guide. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And happy shopping.